it is December 31st, 2020. The time is like 11.37 or something a.m. And I should start eating. Oh my god, I am so not looking forward to eating these. So I did it. I decided to trip on New Year's Eve. I had been debating whether to trip this year for a really long time now. I felt like my last New Year's Eve trip was really powerful and strong and I learned a lot from it. So I was unsure if I would even trip this year, but I decided to trip, but I don't want as intense a trip as I had last year. So I've changed a few things like I only really have shrooms a hand on the moment, but I realized that I haven't actually taken shrooms alone ever. I've always had like other people to trip with or sober people around me who didn't realize that I was tripping when I was on shrooms in the past. I have here these shroom chocolates, uh, which have been sitting in the freezer and I just took them out. And I've never taken shroom chocolates before, but each of these is supposed to be 1.75 grams of shrooms under normal circumstances. If I was taking this with other people, I think I could handle both of these. But since I'm alone, I am probably just going to take one and maybe two thirds of one of these. I've also decided to do this in the daytime instead of my previous New Year's Eve trips which have been at night and I time it so that I end up tripping into the new year and it's really great but uh, I think that the daylight will be a lot more forgiving to me and it'll help not make me go super deep into the trip. Yeah I was debating whether to vlog this trip or not. I feel like the act of vlogging would also take me out of the trip and and also, since I'll be on shrooms, it's going to be a lot harder to talk. So I have no idea how this will go. I don't even know if I will talk that much. From my last trip where I vlogged it, I felt like the act of vlogging was very strange to begin with. Especially while tripping and it's like, why am I doing this? And it feels kind of strange. And vlogging is kind of ego boosting, I feel like. It's like, look at me doing these things. And then I get validation from other people um, about it so yeah we'll see how I feel about it I may not be that talkative I'll try to explain things so my intentions for this trip is that I just want to look back on this year and just reflect on what's changed in my life in the last year and how I've changed and my relationships have changed and just really enjoy some music I think. I plan on staying inside during this trip until I'm in my pajamas and stuff. Outside is like gloomy and cloudy. I think it'll also be cozy to be inside just chilling. And I have this with me, which was a secret Santa gift. Just met him yesterday, but he will be my trip buddy for this trip since I am tripping alone. <laughs> Before this, I only had um, oatmeal and applesauce for breakfast. So very light food so that I was mostly on an empty stomach. This is how it looks like. It's like in a heart form, which is really cute. <laughs> it just smells like dark chocolate. <laughs> I also have this tea here. Or last time I tripped on shrooms was uh, on April 2019. So yeah, it's been a while. Ah, I'm like procrastinating eating this. <laughs> How can I just down this? Maybe if I hold my breath. The good thing about these chocolates though, unlike normal shrooms, is that when you're chewing it, it's just the texture of chocolate. It's <laughs> Just thinking about the texture of normal shrooms is like, it gets stuck in your teeth and shroom. Oh. oh my god. Okay. 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 I'm holding my breath. <laughs> oh god. This is actually like chocolate though. This is like a. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Actually, it doesn't taste that bad. It tastes a lot better than I thought it would. I just have to eat the rest of this now. My heart's like beating. <laughs> so now I have to eat the other half. I feel like it's like at the gym, you know, and you're doing your sets, and I just finished one set, and now I'm like resting, preparing myself mentally for the next set. <laughs> Some people may think I'm super overreacting. It's really not that bad, but I don't know. I just. Ugh. It's 
hard for me, okay? All right, part two. Oh, I can swallow. Fuck. Oh, I'm gagged there. <laughs> it doesn't taste bad. I think now I'm gagging on the idea of it. Like, maybe it's placebo, but it's like those come up like feeling jitters, maybe. I low key there. I'm starting to feel it. So let's finish this last set. Did it. Woo. Oh my god. Anyway, it's like 11.47, so it took me like, how like 20 minutes to eat that. <laughs> okay, put some rose essential oil. Now I have some lemon ginger tea. I don't feel nauseous. I just want to get rid of the chocolate taste in my mouth. <laughs> right now I'm just scrolling through Reddit, waiting for it to hit. I had been worried being here alone, tripping on shrooms, which I'm not um, that experienced with, that I would feel very lonely and scared. I mean, it's only been like 30 minutes, but I can hear the sound of construction in New York around me, and I don't feel lonely. Yeah, I hear a lot of construction. <laughs> um... I don't see anything really, but I just feel my body high and my heart. <laughs> I just realized I bought fruit and I forgot to wash it. Maybe I'll do that now while I can still move. I feel like my body is like on autopilot right now and I'm just like watching my body cut these fruits. <laughs> Does that make sense? Good job, body. <laughs> Washed. Based on how I'm feeling right now, I feel pretty in control, which is good, <laughs> but I think you can handle a little bit more. I'm afraid how sometimes you think that you can handle things and then the psychedelic kicks your ass and like, no, you can't. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more. This little bit more, I think will get me to about three grams. Go by. I'm already feeling like antisocial like <laughs> I don't want to talk I just want to sit here and stare out the window vlogging is gonna be hard because I have to press when I want to say something there's not much I'm doing that's interesting it's all in here oh I burped and tasted it I am super cozy. I love New Year's because New Year's Eve is my favorite holiday. Because one, it is a time for self-reflection. It's like a checkpoint that everyone has. You can have a checkpoint at any time, but New Year's Eve is kind of a nice checkpoint to reflect back on the year. Have you achieved what you wanted and what are your goals for the next year or years or usually I like to look back on memories but I also like how New Year's is based on the planets and how a year is just a revolution around the sun and it's not based on some sort of religion necessarily. I mean, you can have a different day. It doesn't have to be this day necessarily as the new year. Every day is kind of like a new year. Uh, since we are restarting as a society, this is just how we agreed on. <laughs> I can't explain it. Oh, I think I just went in deeper. <laughs> oh, it's in my favorite holiday again because I get to reach out to those people who are kind of dear to me and wish them well and I feel like it's an excuse to do that like you can kind of do it on their birthdays and stuff but New Year's is just a time where you can reach out to people and wish them well too so it's really fun <laughs> to wish people a happy new year I think it's really great am I already crying <laughs> I think it's really great how we all well we get to see the new year and um, the people that I care about are still here for this new year, and it's always something to celebrate into the new year, and then hopefully for many years to come. I just turned on my Christmas lights. They're just comforting. I'm going to start listening to music. 
the walls are starting to breathe in and out and they're wavy let me show there that wall is like coming well it was i was just listening to music which has been super pleasant because i have these speakers that sound so nice the fire alarm and then <laughs> this it was changing colors like green and blue and gray kind of tones it's just like hints of it stop now probably because i am filming and getting out of the moment yeah the perspective on this can change things so much anyway i'm just chilling here listening to music and it's very pleasant it's definitely stronger now and oh this wig feels weird again i always feel so weird when i wear this wig because it's not really me but anyway, at parts, it's like, Shrooms is a lot more forgiving to me than Acid is, but at parts there, I was listening to the music, and it was a little bit veering on Sinister. I just try to let go. Um, 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 oh boy. I, yesterday, I found out my friend and her boyfriend broke up, and then just now got messages that, oh, my friend another friend broke up i can't talk to them right now but it just makes me like i i'm still in disbelief right now i think <laughs> when i went through breakups like they were really hard and i remember being on shrooms and going through a breakup and it was so hard and the further away it is the more that i forget how it feels but i remember it it was really 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 sad and i guess i just feel sad for my friend going through this right now at the new year usually like people are hanging with their loved ones but with the pandemic and everything now like ugh, it's even harder to be single because usually like when I turn single, I kind of like, <sighs> I start dating again. Well, not right away, but I would go out more with friends and I drink and I just do all this new stuff and just to get over it. And it was so much easier to get over these things before the COVID. But now in the pandemic, it's like people are just inside. That makes it even harder because then you decide to put someone into your inner circle of like these are people that I am okay with like being around and they increase my contact to the outside world and you have to be very picky about who you see and stuff and then that person is also gone. Oh my god. I feel like I'm just um, melting and I guess I'm just thinking about my friend's relationships and this all that stuff. I thought that I was going to be on the bed, but I think I'm going to be on the couch and I'm going to curl up. You know, this wig is so fucked. I am in the dripping world now. <laughs> I started closing my eyes and that world has a lot of like snake imagery for me and arms movements. <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting watching this later. Uh, some parts kind of feel like it's I'm trying too hard, but it definitely feels like waves, like, like sometimes it really hits and then it starts lulls. Oh, the closed-eyed visuals, I feel like I just need to let go into the closed-eyed visuals. Mm. And then when I'm scared, I open my eyes. <laughs> that last song, when I close my eyes, there was just a lot of, like, fish imagery, like, I was swimming, <clears throat> and a lot of light, swimming in an ocean of light and fish. But nice, not, I don't know. Okay, that was Breakaway by Kelly Clarkson. This song was very, as a child, I, I don't know. Ugh. As a child, I would listen to this song and resonate with it because I wanted to get away. Of my smallish city. And now here I am in New York. I felt like I was back as a child and then also tripping is interesting because I feel like with the bigger trip, I would say this is kind of a medium-ish one, but with significant-ish size trips, it's like a place marker in time and then you can kind of time travel and you look back on previous trips that way. So yeah, it's like a marker, I guess, of time. I was just feeling my body and how it's like it's so foreign it's like but it's so amazing because it's this neat body that does things and lives and i'm dependent on it 
bodies are a reflection of us and i guess the bodies are separate from us but they're also a reflection of us and how we think of ourselves and it's a reflection of our bodies of what's inside <laughs> so cliche i know I should eat healthier. That's what everyone says after they trip, right? They should eat healthier. <laughs> I feel very alert. And I actually don't feel that lethargic anymore. Oof. I kind of feel like talking, actually. There's no one to talk with. Well, no one in person to talk with. Le Retournel by... I forget the name. It's a really good song. That was probably the peak of this trip. It was like life like a whole life i felt like oh my god my hair <laughs> felt like i was a child again and i was like ah i'm a child who pays rent i am a lot of this stuff is stuff that i already thought so it's not as crazy to me this time or yeah but i was like i'm just a child who pays rent <laughs> then i just thought about how my family members have covid like my aunts and uncles Actually, I was also thinking about breathing and how easily the breath came into my body and left and that that the act of breathing just felt really nice. I cannot socialize right now. I'm glad I did this. It's definitely not the same intensity as a night trip going into the new year, but it's just a nice time, and probably next year I'll do a big trip again, but I'm glad I did it today. It's like a nice tradition that I do. I feel like my group chats have been super not active lately, and then today it's very active. But I guess people are just missing people. I really like listening to music but maybe it is time to watch Spider-Verse. I just found out that I always see that movie on Netflix, but it got taken away like last week. <laughs> but luckily enough, I make enough money where renting it is no big deal. So right now, strawberries are like bursting in my mouth with flavor. <laughs> I feel like a very, very alert human right now. My sight is just brighter and moving. It's just, I don't know, explain it. I feel like an enhanced human. But I feel pretty sober. Not tripping mindset, just like very alert. These blueberries, I'm sucking the life out of them. I just started the movie, so. My internet fucked up right here. I'm taking a break from Spider-Man. So far it's been a really, really, really good animations and quite funny, good comedic timing. <laughs> I am not tripping hard enough where I could look at myself in the mirror. I'm still feeling a little bit, it's kind of like, I'm supposed to be coming down, but it kind of feels like an afterglow. I want a snack, but I feel like junk food won't be that good. Junk food is not supposed to be good when dripping. But let's see. It tastes like nothing. It has like a fun texture, but it tastes like nothing. I'm kind of disappointed. Night is falling for 15 or so. I did not cry that much at all, really. Today was a good day, it was enhanced. I didn't trip that hard. I guess I didn't go as insightful as I wanted into uh, my life, but it was still a good time and I enjoyed music and this movie. I uh, don't really watch this kind of superhero stuff that much, but I appreciated the like different art styles and the blends of cultures and I felt like they did that without trying too hard if that makes sense i think this movie probably would have been better on acid but uh, it was still nice on shrooms and i liked how meta it was as well um, and self-aware 
Yep, I am pretty much almost done. I just feel an afterglow. I ended up eating more of those Funyuns. I was bored with my mouth and I wanted something to entertain my mouth, even though it was like nothing and I was like, I'm just giving my body shit. But yeah, that'll have to be solved another time. <laughs> I don't remember much of actually what happened, so it'll be fun watching this stuff again and uh, editing it, I guess. I think that's one of the nice things about documenting as well is that you get to remember. It's easier to remember. Although it takes you out of the moment, uh, during the moment. I'm going to get out of this wig and enjoy the rest of my night. My boyfriend's gonna come over and I think we're gonna go check out Times Square after midnight to see the confetti, hopefully. Happy New Year! One thing I forgot to say was that this trip made me, um, really appreciate being sober and now I'm here in the afterglow and I'm about to go out to get Chipotle and it just feels really good to be alive and being sober is great too. <laughs> it made me appreciate being sober and I can't get a lot of the tripping moments sober these days and I just appreciate that.